Reading journal articles is a common step when writing papers and completing assignments for many courses. In this video, you will learn a step-by-step -step process for finding the information you need from a journal article. So let's imagine that we are doing a research for a paper on effective note-taking methods. I found this article I think might be helpful. The pen is mightier than the keyboard. Advantages of longhand over laptop note-taking. First, I want to check to see if this article really is helpful for the topic I'm researching. To do this, I'll read the abstract. An abstract is a short summary that comes at the beginning of a journal article. It gives an overview of the research that is discussed in the article and what the researchers found. If you find an abstract and it doesn't connect with your assignment reading, stop here and find another, better article. You don't want to waste time reading articles that won't give you the information you need. Next, now that I've decided that this article is useful, I want to make sure that I have the citation information. In many research databases, you can find a citation tool right on the article page. Click on the tool and see if you can copy the reference for the article in the citation style you are using. For this paper, I'm using APA. So I can copy and paste this information into my document. Now it's time to begin reading. To read and take notes effectively, it's helpful to know how journal articles are organized. After the abstract, the first part of the article is called a literature review. As you see here, the authors have cited a number of other articles. This part of the article reviews information that has been previously published on the author's topic. This section doesn't address the main research that will be discussed in the article yet. After the literature review, you will find information about the new research that the authors of the article conducted. You will find out how they did the study, the materials, and the procedure or methods. You will also find the results of their research later on in the article. This section often includes graphs and other numerical data and may include some unfamiliar terms. Sometimes you may choose to skim this section more quickly. Don't worry too much if you don't understand everything. Focus on trying to understand the key points, especially the results. Next comes the discussion section of the article. This is an important section to read very carefully. This section relates to the results, addressing why the authors believe their results occurred and why the results are important. At the end of the article, you will find a list of additional references. It's often a good idea to skim the references to see if there are any articles that look like they might be helpful for your paper. If an article looks like a good match, search for it by title in the library databases. Now that you've discovered key information in the article, you will want to take some notes. It's usually not a good idea to rely on highlighting alone or to try to write your paper directly from the article without the additional step of taking notes. Why? Taking notes helps you to avoid unintentional plagiarism. In other words, including phrases or portions of sentences directly from the article in your paper. Taking notes also helps you to understand the article more clearly. Writing a concept in your own words shows that you truly understand it well. What will you want to include in your notes? When taking notes on a journal article, here are a few important things to include. Who or what did the author study? What were the results of their study? And what key points did the authors make in their discussion of the results? Many people find it helpful to put each key note on an index card. This allows you to group related information from all of your articles together to see what information you will use in each paragraph of your paper. Here's an example of what an index card might look like. You'll notice that the author's names and the page number are included. You'll need this information for your citation. The card is divided into three columns. The left column is a piece of information from the article. In the middle column, I write why this information is important. Finally, in the last column, I noted where I think I'll use this information in my paper. What will I do with these index cards? When I've finished all of the reading I need to do for my paper, I will sort my index cards into related groups. This will create the initial structure of my outline. It will tell me what information I will include in each paragraph and how I will organize it. So in summary, in this video, we discussed how to read a journal article. 
We looked at the different parts of a journal article and what information you find there. We also looked at a strategy you can use for taking notes.